All right, guys, so it's your guys' favorite time of the month, and I'm not talking about when those stimulus checks hit the account. I'm talking about the monthly recap. All right, guys, it's the monthly recap for May. I'm going to go through, start with the best sport, all the way down to the worst sport. And you can see right here, obviously, we, what I got right here on the dashboard, that this is the total of what we hit throughout this month. I'm going to get to that a little later after I dissect through these sports a little bit. All right, guys, so first, let's get to the best sport, which is... MLB. MLB was the best sport for the month of May, and the numbers that it hit are pretty crazy. All right. So in MLB, we end up going 45 and 15. We end up hitting 75% and making 13.92 units on that. All right. So solid MLB month. Really solid. So you got to expect that that number is not going to stay like that. All right, guys, it's just not. That's the way this, this works in the sports betting world. You're not going to hit 75% consistently. All right, so that number is going to even itself out. So still a huge month for MLB to hit 75% in MLB and to make 13.92 units. All right, now let's get to the second one. Second sport is going to be NHL. All right, so NHL, we kind of include, you know, the... Uh, postseason play towards the end of the month now NHL ended up going 20 and 9 good for 68.97 percent and we made 3.64 units on that all right so pretty solid solid numbers from NHL for the month of May and that's coming to an end NHL is coming to an end since you know we're in the midst of the postseason now and like I said guys with postseason play I've already mentioned this plenty of times that postseason play you guys do want to limit your your plays on that definitely okay because postseason play in any sport it's just an addition that's just a bonus all right guys let's get to the next play the next sport next sport's going to be nba nba we ended up going 24 and 19 so very pretty average pretty average month for nba we hit 55.81 percent and only made 1.57 units all right and as you can see in the nba most of our plays were prop plays coming through reason behind that is a lot of funky stuff in the NBA this year, so kind of wanted to zone in just on player props for the NBA rather than teams or the totals because it's just a lot of funky stuff that's happened in the NBA this year. You know, even last minute lineup changes that come out of nowhere, players only playing a certain amount in the game, a lot of stuff happens. So we limited that by just going with our prop plays throughout the most of the month. Now, towards the end of the month, we did catch on a little bad roll in NBA. And just so happens that that was right when the playoffs started. So like I said, guys, when playoffs start, you guys got to limit your plays to half unit plays because anything can happen. There's a lot of weird stuff that happens in the playoffs in any sport. So just make sure you guys are limiting those as well. All right. So let's go to the last sport that did the worst, which is surprising because it's usually one of our best sports. And that is UFC. UFC, we went four and four for 50% and we lost 1.35 units on that all right so UFC wasn't too solid but obviously that'll even itself out as well over the year and should probably be up towards one of our best our one of our best sports it usually is all right so again guys overall we ended up going 66.89% and we made 17.79 units across all sports. All right. Now I do want to mention a couple things, how this month started out towards how the month finished. All right. So the month started out absolutely on fire. First two and a half weeks, almost the three weeks, we were on fire. We were hitting over probably over 74% through that time. All right. So when that happens, you guys got to realize this guys got to realize that it's going to even itself out the percentage is going to go down you're going to hit a downswing that's just what happens so we finished the month out in the last week of may it wasn't really too much of a downswing but it was basically an even week all right it was up and down up and down and we weren't moving too much so the second half of this month we were really hammering half a unit plays as you can see here the reason behind that is because when you hit such a high percentage in the first two weeks of a month it's going to even itself out so you definitely want to limit your losses of how much money you're going to lose all right because it's inevitable you are going to lose money towards you know it's just going to even itself out so you definitely want to limit that so that's why you cut to half unit half unit plays now i do advise this that uh, we can't do this ourselves because we got people relying on us every day for picks but if you set a unit goal for yourself at the start of the month let's say you reach that goal three weeks into the month you reach that goal with five days left in the month 
you, it's totally okay for you to not even play the rest of the month and wait till next month. Take your wins, take your gains, and leave. There's no reason for it. You could just wait till next month. There's no reason to be greedy and go and try to get more out of it. All right, so if you reach your goal, you guys can always take your goal, relax on it, and wait till next month. You can always just carry it over to next month. All right, that is something that I do advise because there's no reason to be greedy in this game. If you hit 75% to 70 something percent over the first three weeks, believe me, that last week is gonna probably be a bad week. So why not just avoid it, right? <laughs> you should just avoid it. That's just the way it should go. So don't get greedy in this game. Set yourself a unit goal every single month. If you hit that goal, then you have room to work with and you can relax. Or you can just go and hit half a unit plays and just play lightly, all right? so. That is my advice when it comes down to a whole month of play. Like I said, guys, you got to ride a whole month out. You guys got to understand it is a long-term game. Another thing I do want to address here is the bet tracker. Now, this is the updated bet tracker. We updated it, I think, last month pretty much we, when we made our last video. We mentioned this as well. If you don't have the updated bet, bet tracker, you need to do that. You need to update that. You need to go and download it. Reason behind that is your units will be off a little bit because when it comes to playing half a units and the, and you lose a half a unit play, it was making it as you lost a whole entire unit instead of saying what it says right here, 0 0.15, 0 0.5, it would say minus 1.0 when you only bet a half of a unit or any type or a quarter of a unit, whatever you did, it would still calculate it as a whole unit loss. So that would mess up your units, all right? So you need to download the new updated tracker if you haven't already. So make sure you guys do that so that way you have the updated numbers and you guys are able to have really precise, accurate results. All right, guys, so once again, over the month of May, we end up going 66.89%. Our unit gain was 17.79. And like I said, first three weeks were absolutely on fire. Two and a half weeks, right up in there, absolute fire. And it's gonna even itself out. That's just the way it goes. You're gonna hit that downswing. You're gonna hit that up and down, up and down roller coaster. That's just the way that, it's the way it goes in sports betting, guys. Month in and month out, you're gonna hit those, all right? You just gotta be able to withstand them, just like this month. The last week being up and down, up and down on a downswing, we're still in the midst of that downswing. It's just gonna happen because you can't, this number right here where it says 66.89%, you're, you're not gonna keep that over a whole entire year. You're just not. That's gonna work its, work its way down to about 60, 61, 59, 58, around in that, all right? That's just the way that it rolls. That's just what's gonna happen, all right? It's inevitable. You're not gonna hit numbers like this over a whole entire year. Because if you do, you got to realize this. You're the best sports better in the history of sports betting. All right? So that's the only thing you got to realize. If you are hitting a number like that year in and year out, you're hitting crazy numbers. Yeah, because professionals only hit from 57 to 60% on a yearly basis. All right, guys? So once again, monthly recap, 17.79 units we made. Percentage, 66.89%. As always, guys, I'm Frank with Linemaker Sports. I will see you guys in the next video. Till then. I'm out.